Nowadays, Sevilla and its province are presented throughout the world as a mature and exciting destination for the celebration of any type of event, meeting or incentive trip. With the collaboration of Side Spain chapter, the Sevilla Congress and Convention Bureau have had the honor to organize the Side Young Leaders Academy 2010. An important encounter for the meetings and incentives industry held from the 1st of October to the 3rd that on this occasion has brought together professionals from countries like Germany, the United Kingdom, Spain, Turkey and the United States at a conference that has combined training sessions, cultural visits with leisure, providing for all the attendees an unforgettable experience. The program of events began on Friday with a cultural visit to the Barrio de Santa Cruz, a maze of picturesque narrow streets lined with attractive terraces and evocative restaurants, which has its origins in the old Jewish quarter of Seville, an area inhabited by Jews at the time of King Ferdinand III of Castile and which inspired works such as the operas Don Giovanni the Barber of Seville, Fidelio and Carmen. The itinerary for the monumental environment continued that day with a late night visit to the Alcázar of Seville, a group of palatial buildings declared World Heritage Site, whose construction began in the early Middle Ages, where multiple architectural styles overlap, such as Islamic, Moorish, Gothic and Baroque. At the end of the visit, a cocktail was served in the gardens of the palace. Uh, that was all I had for you uh, this morning. I'll, I'll... On Saturday morning, training sessions were held at the NH Central Conventions. Speakers of the relevance of Sean Mahoney, president of Site Global. Cosimo Brusesi from Briggs, New York, Airi Garigosa, director of the Barcelona Convention Bureau, or Rob Davidson, expert on tourism from the University of Westminster, London, gave different testimonies on the main theme of these sessions, rethink your values, learn to win, aim generally to improve business management and customer services. But I believe that Spain in general and cities like Seville have a wonderful advantage, a long experience of welcoming incentive groups and I think that in the future that will be of a great advantage in winning groups from all emerging destinations. Um, social corporate responsibility, as you know, is more and more important in incentive programs and uh, not so popular in Spain. So I think that for our young leaders here from our country, it's going to be interesting to know more about uh, this. Something I would highly recommend, fantastic incentive destination and something you should definitely look into. Thanks to Sevilla and the Convention Visitors Bureau. Uh, we're extremely excited to be here and uh, invite everyone to do the same. After the training program, Attendees made a private visit to the Museum of Flamenco Dancing, an 18th century building, where they experienced the exhibition halls with interactive classes of flamenco as an introduction to this world with deep roots in Andalusia and taking full advantage of a nice dinner at La Bovida del Cante Hondo and an astonishing flamenco performance in the main patio of the museum. <laughs> On Sunday, the group went to the Hacienda de Oran, a farmhouse where a presentation was held to publicize Seville as a destiny and proposals focused on incentives tourism. Among them, a visit to the Botanical Garden. Or Antique Carriage Museum.
a ride in a horse carriage around the farm, or a thrilling flight on an ultralight plane. The knowledge and experiences shared in these days have attested to the importance of engaging in this type of actions to all representatives of this sector to achieve optimal positioning of our city at an international level for an agile effort to all professionals and to an experience that combines work and fun in an unforgettable destination, Sight and Sevilla. Seville Meetings Experience